Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and today we're talking about defragmentation of your hard drive and is the Windows 8 defrag tool okay or do you need a third party defrag tool? So this comes from feedback. I've got a lot of comments, people saying that they wanted to learn more about the defrag tool and do you need something else or is it good enough? Uh, the one that's integrated into Windows 8. So to get your defrag, just go into your uh, start screen, click that little search, and just type defrag, and you'll see defragment and optimize your drive. Click that. You can also, um, you know, go into your file explorer if you want. Right click on your C drive and go into properties, there you will have tools and in the tools you'll have optimizing defrag drive. So um, you can click optimize here and you'll have the same tool show up. Now the tool will show you the um, status of your computer at a given time. Here I'm going to analyze and I'm going to let it check for anything that might actually be uh, fragmented or not. Uh, another thing that you need, you have scheduled optimization. There are two ways that actually your computer gets uh, defragged. One is by a scheduled optimization. So for example, every week, let's say every week on Sunday evening at 7 p.m., you can let it defrag. It's going to start automatically. You can say Okay, but another way, and that a lot of people don't actually know it, another way that your computer actually defrags is automatically. So when you actually don't use your computer and you leave the uh, computer on for maybe half an hour and, or one hour and you're just you know doing something else, your computer actually defrags itself automatically. As you see here, I just run the Analyze tool for my C drive, which is my Windows 8.1 drive, and it says 0% fragmented. Why? Because I leave my computer on pretty much all day, and what happens is I will be, you know, sometimes an hour, an hour and a half without actually touching it, but, you know, for an hour, I won't shut down the computer, actually. Um, if I know that I'll be back in half an hour or an hour using it, I will leave it on. And that will, will start the auto defrag process. So um, this auto defrag started in Windows Vista. So if you have Vista, Windows 7, or Windows 8, or 8.1, every time you leave your computer on and you don't touch it for a certain amount of time, there's an automatic defragmentation now, something that was not part of Windows XP, for example. In Windows XP, or earlier, you had to run the defrag tool from time to time because you would get fragmented. Well, this is something that just doesn't happen if you leave your computer on pretty much all day. The only times where maybe defragmentation would be needed is if you turn on your computer, use it, don't really leave it on while you're not using it, then you might want to actually check out if your drive is fragmented or not. Now, do we need a third-party defrag software? Now, a lot of people you know, use all sorts of third-party tools like um, CCleaner um, and, or you know, Norton Utilities and stuff like that. And they're kind of thinking, well, we need you know, third-party software to actually really fix and clean our computers. I'm not part of that type of person. I don't think you need a third-party piece of software. Windows already cleans itself quite well. And, um, you know, that crazy knowledge of, oh yeah, but when you went install, it leaves files and folders everywhere. Uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter. Why? Because what's left behind is usually very small and People have this, um, you know, kind of um, impression that when you leave folders behind, it slows down the computer, stuff like that. It's not true. What slows down your computer is the actual running of software. 
So um, the more you install software that actually runs in the background, that will slow down. But basically, uh, you know, empty or small folders left behind by uninstalled software don't actually change nothing in the performance of the computer. Where there might be a possibility of maybe getting it a little faster, it's true that the um, Windows um, registry actually gets bigger, bigger, and bigger as time goes by. And that is a possible problem in the long term for slowing down computers. But, um, you know, I don't like having third-party software playing and tweaking the registry as it might actually cause problems in the long run. So um, I don't think third-party defrag software is needed at all. Uh, the defrag of Windows itself is pretty good actually in optimizing your drives. So before we go, how do you know if your drive is optimized or not and how to optimize it if it's not? Well, go into your search. Like I said, you can go into your file explorer right-click your C drive or any drive that you want to uh, check its status. Go into Properties and Tools. There you'll see Optimize. Or you can, if you start uh, use the Start screen, simply go into the little search here. Just type Defrag and you'll see Defragment and Optimizer Drives. You can click there. It brings you to that Optimize Drives. Um, if you're, you know, one of those people that want to make sure that everything works well, you can actually turn on the schedule here. And in that schedule, you'll see optimization schedule. You just put that check mark uh, weekly, choose which day or time, and so on. That's one way. But like I said, if you leave your computer on pretty much all the time and you, 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 you leave it, you know, like for uh, many minutes or hours at a time without you even using it sometimes, uh, just keep in mind that the defragment tool always runs in Windows 8. So uh, once you just leave your computer on, it actually does it by itself. To know if you need to defragment the drive, all you have to do is click Analyze. I just did that uh, as I was doing the video earlier. So it tells me the date that I ran the last time. And it says 26 November at 10.53, which is a few minutes ago. 0% fragmented. That means my drive is pretty good. And you know what? It says the status, which is cool in this one. It didn't before in the older versions. Now it says OK. It means you don't have to defragment. If for some reason it says that you need to defragment, then you can click Optimize. And the Optimize button will start the process of defragmenting your hard drive. So keep in mind that the tool in Windows 8 about defragmentation is really good. It works really well and it's even automatic when you don't touch your computer for a certain amount of time which I think is a great idea and it means that your computer's never fragmented basically. And uh, you now you know how to use it if you ever need to defragment. So hope that helps and that it answers all the questions of pretty much everybody that in the past few months uh, wanted me to kind of talk a little more about you know defrag and um, do we need a defrag software so don't use any third-party defrag if you have one uh, you know do what as you wish some people like a certain piece of software for some of its features um, but if you just installed it because you thought that your computer you know might be better off with an another software Uninstall it. You don't really need a third party defrag software. If you enjoy our videos, why not subscribe to our channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments or questions on what you've seen, let us know. Maybe you have a feature of Windows 8 you'd like us to talk about. Let us know. And hopefully, you will come back to the official Windows 8 channel. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.